All right, so as you can tell, I have a, another new Mac in front of me. Yes, this is not the one that I just opened. <laughs> this is a new one. We're on the third one. Number three. First one, MacBook Pro 13 inch with all the upgrades. Second one, same as this, but just didn't turn on. And now this one. So cross your fingers, I can actually use this one. We are opening this. I'm gonna grab my baby scissors. Oh, wow, this is just crumbling. Going. My scissors, they're just. Ugh. All right, so we're gonna just rip this bad boy open. so nervous. What if this doesn't turn on? What if I get another dud? Like, I don't even want to think about that. It's gonna work. Come on, people. We need this to work. Oh, I have it backwards. All right, let's get, turn it around, turn it around. Yes, so we have another MacBook that I have opened and is not starting right away. But let's not panic because there are a couple things that you can do in this situation. One is you can hit shift, control, option, and the power key, hold them down for 10 seconds, and then you lift up and repress the power key, and that should like reset it. You can try this more than once, like I did, but if it doesn't work the first couple times, it's probably not going to work later on, unless you're just not holding it for 10 seconds. So don't get stuck on the phone in the middle of the night with Apple support telling you to do it over and over again because you're just wasting your goddamn time. But yes, so I tried that and it did not work. Am I in like a nightmare? Is this like nightmare of the math book? This is not happening again. Did they give me a dead one? This one's dead. Like this is not happening. At least this time I have an appointment tomorrow with the Mac Geniuses. That was supposed to be for my other laptop, but nope, we're on this one. All right, so yes, this is all too familiar. This is exactly what happened last time, but there's still one more thing that I could try. So I decided to do that, which is charge it. You know, sometimes they are just dead. They've been on a shelf for a long time. Maybe you just gotta charge a little bit more. <laughs> this is from even a different store. Like, what the hell? Okay. I'm gonna be back in like five to 10 minutes with an update. I need to breathe for a second. So I tried charging it for five to 10 minutes. Okay. Third time is supposed to be the charm. So this laptop is going to turn on. Oh God, did I just jinx myself? All right, let's try. You're kidding me. So I decided to try charging it for an hour and well, I didn't get any better results. I even tried using the keys again and using the other shift key just in case, I don't know, something else happened, but sadly it did not. And I started to lose my mind. No, 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 this is not happening again. I am going back to the Apple store right now. Like I am not, no, just this. Obviously it didn't work. The keys didn't work. The charging didn't work. There's nothing else I could personally do. Getting very frustrated, just heated. Hell no. No. 
just no. It was time for me to give up on trying to fix this myself and go down to the Apple store, which is what I did. I am here in the Apple store right now. I'm getting my fourth laptop because I got another lemon or a bad one or a dud or whatever you want to call it. And it's not just me. They couldn't even get it on. So luckily I went back down and since it had only been a few hours, the manager who helped me the first time was there and she actually knew the problem. And so when I came back with the same issue, she's like, hmm, like, let's figure out what's going on instead of just switching this out and make sure that you actually go out with like a working MacBook. So she ended up having her tech geniuses run tests on it and find out that they can't even figure out what's going on. Like they ran all the tests that they could possibly run and they had to send it to an outside lab, which I don't know the results of it, but that should tell you something if they cannot figure it out themselves and have to send it out to another lab. This one was a dud and now they're making sure that I'm locking out the computer that's gonna work. They are going through every laptop that is the model that I want and I'm trying to figure out if there's one that will turn on. So I was really thankful that she did this because we found out that if I had just exchanged the laptop and got another one, that the first five MacBooks I would have gotten would have been duds too. So if I had just switched it out, I would have been right back where I started. So I'm really thankful that she took the time to go through all these MacBooks and find one that was working. And not only that, but to restore my faith in Apple and MacBooks, she even let me install DaVinci Resolve while I was there just to make sure that it worked and I wouldn't have to come right back. Look, it's actually working. It is working. It is downloading software. I'm excited. So I'm really thankful to the Corte Madera store and the manager there. So thank you very much for helping me out. This has just been one crazy MacBook mess. And I do have a working MacBook right now, but for some reason, ever since I got it, after I plugged in my iPhone, I've been having these weird issues, like these weird numbers and things, and I don't know what's going on. I'm not gonna put that all in the video right now just because I'm still trying to figure out what's going on, so I wanna give it a little bit of a chance to resolve with Apple support, but I will be doing an update video or at least post it on my Instagram. I really hope this issue doesn't happen to you and that you don't go through this. And if your laptop's not charging, it won't start, nothing's working, go in there, demand for a new one. I hope this video helps you. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can see when I post more videos. And I will see you all later. Bye!